Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And the AT&T Turbo add-on or feature, whichever you want to call it, is live as of today, May 2nd. Um, AT&T yesterday launched an official article on, on their uh, AT&T About website, introducing AT&T Turbo, a new wireless feature that gives customers real-time responsiveness and enhanced data connectivity on the go. You should be able to um, select the feature and add it on through your app, the My at t app. If it's not available just yet, it might be later on today, or you might have to do an update. So check the App Store or the, the Google Play Store to see if there's an update on the app. But I have been told it's going to be effective uh, today. Also, I have been told... Uh, store reps are going to receive commission for this. So they're they're going to push this a bit more aggressively. Like if you go in the store to do an upgrade or uh, maybe you pay your bill in store, whatever the case, store reps are going to push this feature very aggressively. You know, it, it, it pays pretty pretty significant, about $10 per per ad that they do in store. So that's a, that's a pretty significant amount. So let's say you do five in a day, that's 50 extra bucks. So... So that'll be that'll be something to to look out for when you go to the store that you you're going to be ran over by by store reps trying to sell you AT and T Turbo. So the feature itself, right? A lot of people are now starting to question like, is it even worth it? What improvements will I see? And again, I will say it just like I said it in the previous video. I just don't see you getting a huge difference. Right, you're still going to be able to do all of the connections that AT&T is 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 uh, signaling out to be the priority for this AT&T Turbo. Like you're still going to be able to broadcast on social media, you're still going to be able to game, and you're still going to be able to upload and such. You're still going to be able to do all that if, even if you don't use or choose to add on the AT&T Turbo. Now. With the AT&T Turbo, if you are in the market that's a bit slower, that doesn't have C-band and DoD on every site, and even if C-band and DoD is on every site, you're still getting prioritized over uh, a customer that doesn't have Turbo. At least that's how it's supposed to function. So if two speed tests, right, I'll just throw this out for an example. If two speed tests are ran at the same time, the QCI 7 line should end up being faster than the QCI 8 line. That's how it's supposed to work. But what you will notice, even though the, the, the 7 line is faster than the 8, the QCI 8 will still have plenty of latency, lower left latency, plenty of enough speeds to do all the tasks that are prioritized on the turbo. So it's up to you. You know, it's really up to you. I can't make that choice for you. Maybe you are in an area that's not as um, that's not as fast. I mean, you know your area better than I do. So if you go to a certain area, a certain uh, place that you work, certain place where you live or where you play, and you know that, hey, look, the, the, the capacity needs are not really that strong, let me go ahead and get this turbo so I at least have somewhat of priority over the next user so just sharing that with you guys make sure you check the AT&T app throughout the day if not check your app store or google play store for an update and uh, i'll throw out an update too if uh, on on the x platform if i'm told like hey it's live as of as of this time then i'll put it on the x platform to let you guys know like hey yes it is now live so let me know your thoughts in the comments let me know if you're going to sign up for this and add it on let us know in the comments. Like, share, subscribe if you are new. Follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Live. See y'all in the next one. Peace.